Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're creating a Valentine's burlap wreath. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Okay guys, here are some of the materials we're going to be needing. Some paint, your brush, some hot glue, uh, burlap um, by the roll. I got this uh, Christmas clearance, but they do have them regularly at Walmart. A love sign, and I had this on hand. Someone gift that, gifted that to me. And then I bought this from Dollar Tree. It's a wreath form. Okay, we're gonna get started with our wreath form and our chenille stems. I took one, cut it in half, and then folded it. And what we're gonna be doing here is just taking the end of our burlap and securing it to the back. Now, once you do this, you'll be turning it back around onto the front side, and you're going to go ahead and for the first two rows, you're gonna be pulling one of each of the sides of this burlap roll and then just joining them to the end and you're gonna be scrunching them. And all you have to do once you start to scrunch is making sure that you feel comfortable with the fullness in that one particular area before you move on to the next. Okay, now that we've completed our outer rings, we're gonna go ahead and do the same for our, the inner two rings and uh, scrunch up that burlap to make it look a little fuller. And we'll basically go through the whole roll. Once you get closer to finishing up the burlap, go ahead and fluff up your wreath and then don't forget to secure the last piece or the, the end of your burlap with the chenille stem like we did at the beginning. Okay guys, now it's time to decorate our wreath. Here's my completed wreath. Um, this love sign, I originally wanted to go ahead and paint and I did try painting it with the chalk paints I originally presented to you and the materials. However, the pink that the original pink that it was, it kept licking through the paint, so I ended up uh, spray painting this in a white, and then I just created these pretty little bows to lay to be layered, and then I created um, a longer tail as well to attach to the um, both of those, and then to my wreath. Alright, here's our completed wreath um, hanging from the front door of our home. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.